thing. So as for language modeling, of course, uh, there was a lot of progress in language modeling uh, with uh, neural networks that are today very popular. I have this graph when I was working on Pantry Bank, there was this breakthrough just by using uh, neural nets. So this is the state of the art on what is kind of like a very standard language modeling benchmark. Uh, of course, if you would take uh, a larger uh, language modeling benchmarks that are proposed later, this graph would look very similar, just it would be shifted a bit to the right uh, because uh, uh, basically the bigger models take more computational resources for that you need newer hardware and that's uh, that's basically it. But I wouldn't really say that there was some some huge breakthrough uh, after basically going from engrams to, to neural nets. Uh, that was the, the biggest uh, the biggest thing that uh, happened in the last uh, last decades in, uh, in the language modeling research, uh, and uh, of course, like uh, that's uh, it's, uh, up to a debate. But in my opinion, uh, with the current technology, where we are just mostly like training bigger models and more data, and that's exactly what is happening. It is GPT one and two and three and four and five models. So that's uh, that's very nice engineering projects, but I don't think it will actually take us to AGI. Uh, and I will give some arguments later. Uh, I actually have on decided uh, we need to invent something new because the biggest language models today are trained on much, much more data than a human can read in a whole lifetime. And I think that uh, we are we are like uh, mistaking uh, the generalization ability with, uh, with the memorization capacity. The current language models are great to memorize data, but uh, they really don't generalize uh, very well. Actually, Yoshia was talking about it previous talk uh, quite a bit. Uh, so here's just some uh, some example. If you actually start uh, writing some text uh, as a human and then let a language model to complete it by just uh, generating the, the like uh, next words using uh, using your statistical language model, then the models, uh, the, the biggest language models of today are really much, much better than what existed like uh, 15 years ago, basically. The difference between engrams and neural nets uh, is amazing. So, if you would uh, finish reading this story, which I did find some uh, somewhere on Twitter, I didn't actually generate it myself, uh, then you would find it is actually quite sensible and uh, it's surprising uh, how good it uh, it can get. Uh, uh, at the same time, I think that uh, these outputs are often like overrated, and what is not discussed uh, is that uh, the language models don't really have any any like emotions or opinions or even like uh, their memory ability is uh, is quite limited as this can be shown in some uh, specific tests. Uh, uh, in fact, uh, just because some language model produces some sentences doesn't mean that uh, that uh, it understands what it's saying. And if you would just have a computer program that says that it's intelligent, doesn't mean that uh, it's intelligent. Uh, it's just a text that was written by the human programmer. And similarly, language models are basically repeating fragments of uh, the data that they're actually written by humans. Uh, so I think that uh, there is this uh, illusion of intelligence that uh, sometimes uh, people who don't really understand the technology in detail start believing uh, that these models are much smarter than they really are. Uh, if you would start like listing all these uh, problems uh, uh, when it comes to language models, I would say that uh, or like uh, models that can learn from from language language or communication, and then I would say it would be like uh, ability to learn without supervision, and uh, we need uh, like much better generalization. We would also like uh, need a better memory capability, like uh, some way how to uh, how to store episodic memory in the model somehow or long term memory, and it can be shown again like. Uh, as I said, that uh, the uh, current architectures uh, can struggle struggle in surprisingly simple memory tasks. Uh, and uh, in fact, uh, what I would like to see even is some sort of like drops of complexity. Like think of a human who understands English. Uh, you can uh, think of a of a case where the human would be given like a, a lot of free time and uh, um, can write actually books about uh, some fictional characters and make more and more complex books and create new novel stories and based, uh, based new stories on uh, what, the, uh, what that particular human did right before and kind of like creates uh, sort of like a whole artificial universe in some sense uh, just from uh, from uh, that person's imagination. So this growth of complexity is again something that you can't uh, observe ever in these language models. You can keep generating data from these models, uh, but if you will retrain them on what they generated, in the best case, they will not change. In the worst case, they will just degenerate into into repeating a single a single sentence. So uh, we don't really have uh, models that would have these abilities. Uh, I did also like discuss uh, other things, like uh, that uh, in this paper in 2015 that we did write uh, 
Facebook Air Research called the Roadmap Towards Machine Intelligence. Uh, there are like some very simple tasks where you can imagine that uh, a person with some very basic language abilities will be able to learn from, but uh, current language models um, actually cannot really do that because there's no supervision. You have to uh, do some exploration of combinations and so on. And in fact, uh, I don't know about, uh, even like till today, about any system that could solve tasks of this type. Of course, you can hack a, a solution to one particular problem of this type, but uh, uh, in general, the tasks of this type, uh, you can't actually uh, learn them with, uh, with uh, the current machine learning. Uh, so we didn't actually provide the solution. We just wanted to motivate researchers to think uh, about uh, possibly different learning frameworks where you don't have really like uh, just this, uh, just this prediction of the next symbol or whatever task as, uh, as it is in language modeling. Uh, uh, so again, like they are more like uh, more like uh, opinions given in this uh, in this paper. 